Corporate Public Speaking Championship is an opportunity for representatives from different corporate entities throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines to showcase their communication and leadership skills and by doing so, enhance the offering of products and services by such entities. This is our second year of the National Corporate Public Speaking Competition. We are now going into the semi-final round of competition with 15 representatives. And these representatives are all striving to advance to the final round. Having advanced to the final round, one lucky representative would be the winner of $3,000. Within the National Corporate Public Speaking Committee, I serve as the deputy chair of the organization. Ms. Alec Miller, she serves as the chair, and she can also tell you about some of the other members who serve on the committee. We also have on the committee Mr. Raheem Hall. He's the secretary. Of, uh, he's the secretary. Uh, Chukira Davis, she is the public relations chair. We also have Charlene Aline Hector. She is the finance chair. And others on the committee are... Denicia Games, Jackie English Jacobs, and Zeloni Days. I want to introduce for the very first time the patron of the National Corporate Public Speaking Competition. And as I would have said in my introduction, this is a competition that is about communication and leadership in corporate entities throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I think that Vincentians, when they think about communications and communication and leadership and trailblazers in that arena, would not have to think for very long. We know the work that Ms. Desiree Richards has done and we want to recognize her work in such an excellent way because it, it would be for the younger generations of, generation of Vincentians to know and understand who she is and her contribution to St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the future as they grow. She has been the CEO of the Metrosyn General Insurance Company and we know that is the longest serving indigenous insurance company in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It is actually it's in, in its 52nd year. We give thanks to her father, Uncle Metro, <laughs> who would have started such an organization. And we know that she is the managing director of several communications organizations in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. When we think about the Vincentian newspaper and how long it's been around, when we think about IKTV, when we hear about Boom, these are all entities that she has played a sterling leadership role in. And we really want to recognize her contributions to communications and leadership in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It is not very often you find persons like this. And it is exactly this personality and these qualities that we're trying to develop in these representatives from various corporate entities throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And it is not often that you find a woman at the helm of all of these organizations as well. So it is well fitting and deserving. Well said. <laughs> okay. Um, well, first of all, let me say how grateful, humbled I am to received such an outstanding award from an organization that I have tremendous respect for. Um, this organization, from the time that it has launched, I endorsed the competition because I thought it was such a worthy cause. But I'm so impressed with this organization and the way they conduct business. It is filled with an executive that has a, a work ethic that's beyond um, belief. Um, these people put their heart and soul into giving their time to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and they do this for nothing. So I want to, in turn, celebrate this organization for the, the outstanding work that they've done and for the contribution that they're making to the corporate world in terms of communications development. I must say that this is an award that means the world to me. Um, it doesn't come from an organization outside of St. Vincent. It comes from an our, our own people. And I'm going to cherish this award. As a matter of fact, um, I would say that it's going to motivate me further. It's, it's, it's really an inspiration. Um, I've been working behind the scenes. Um, I must say that my inspiration started, of course, 
with my mentor, my father, Edgerton Richards, Uncle Metro. And he set the stage uh, as a trailblazing entrepreneur in St. Vincent for a number of things. For me, when I was younger, I really did not have much of an interest in business. But I must say that through his inspiration and encouragement, I've, I have found that his legacy is like a fuel and um, the things that he associated with had a sp specific character. He basically um, worked around a concept, and that was his love of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That was what fueled him, and everything he did stemmed from that love. And so forming the first indigenous insurance company, um, having the intestinal fortitude to even imagine that you could do something of, of that magnitude, um, you know, going in and rescuing the Vincentian from bankruptcy. These are all, um, this is the tradition and the legacy that he left. And I must say with each year that I function in this position, I'm really inspired by that legacy. And I use that as my fuel. And so I have a background also in communications. I have a bachelor's degree in communications. And I use the Vincentian as my starting point. And every concept that I have developed around communication was built around that. And so my, my, my inspiration is to expand and grow with the times. I mean, the, the world is changing. And you know, when we first, when the Vincentian first started, obviously it was the only communication game in town. But you know, over the years and so on, you know, the world has changed. And the world is continuing to change. And with COVID-19, we see how rapidly the world is changing. And so as a result of that, there was a need for diversification. There was a need for growth. And so I had an opportunity to align with some organizations. And so I found an opportunity to expand in television as well as in radio. Um, so I took that opportunity and over the last few years, we've been working on refining that opportunity, putting the infrastructure in place for us to have synergistic relationships among the various entities that will leverage us as a strong communications entity, notwithstanding the fact that we are separate legal entities. And in addition to that, um, I would have started the Vinci Carnival magazine as well. And um, we've been doing that for many years. And so all my communications ideas, I would say, were, were inspired by the fact that my father fought so hard to save the Vincentian newspaper. And I see it as a very valuable institution for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And it is, I am inspired by that. I'm inspired by the, the, the fact that it's tied to the history of the country, to the legacy of the country, to the fact that a local businessman saw it fit to not have it go into extinction. And so I'm inspired to keep it perpetuating. I think that for the 2020 competition, it started on a very high note. And as a committee, we've had the opportunity to even take it up a notch in terms of using a ver a, an online platform to have the competition this year. We started with an on-site competition, but we know that the pandemic has caused a shift, and we are going to use that shift to our advantage. We are having an online competition for the semi-final round. There are 15 representatives for the semi-final round. They are all striving to advance to the final round, of course. And in the final round, the winner of the competition will receive $3,000. That's just the cash prize. They would also receive other tokens and, of course, championship trophy. We want to know, ultimately, where will the championship trophy end up this year? As patron of the organization, we have received the support from Ms. Desiree Richards through the endorsement of the National Corporate Public Speaking Competition, through the sponsorship of some of the events activities. We also want to recognize her 
publicly and I said it was online but there would be recognition of Miss Richards and all that she has contributed not just to this competition because this is about the Vincentian communication and leadership development. We want to recognize her in a very strong way at our semi-final and the final round of co rounds of competition. Tamira mentioned earlier the challenges which we're facing and we started this competition as she indicated earlier on a very high footing it was on site but the COVID has caused the shift that she indicated earlier and we are forced to do things differently. We cannot cancel the competition because of all of the investments in it so we have had to postpone initially the semi-finals which was slated for the 28th of March. You recognize we're in May now. And um, the committee came together and we had to have creative ways of getting the competition going along. Hence the reason why we're now going to be having the semi-finals online. Everybody is on site now. Everybody's checking the latest news on Everybody's COVID. Online now. <laughs> Everybody's online, everybody. So why not engage them while they're there? And this is the reason why we're having the competition on-site, online. Of course, it will be pay-per-view. That information will be on our website later the, today, as well as this very interview as well, all of the information as to how you can access it. We do have an events page on our website, NCPSC SVG, National Corporate Public Speaking. We are asking persons to visit the website, visit the, the Facebook page, and you can get all of the information you need there. Definitely, I want to thank and on behalf of the committee, I should say I want to thank Ms. Desiree Richards for ac accepting the opportunity to serve as the patron of the National Corporate Public Speaking Competition. I think that this competition would play a very vital role in ensuring the development of our Vincentians within the corporate framework. And I also think that after COVID, this would be a good opportunity for persons to renew and sharpen their skills in relation to their communication and leadership and what they're able to offer. Because we are seeing a different element of communication come to the fore now in terms of how we communicate in a virtual realm. There are many things that we can take advantage of and we ex expect that this competition would have several benefits for all of us.